Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 3. I'm your host, Game of Darius. So, after, let's see, th four more divorces and then a little bit of internet research to find women or men that were either of the flirty or promiscuous type and a singular hooker later. That was supposed to be far more dramatic. I was supposed to draw the weapon and it'd be all like, wooshy wooshy awesome. Um, I'll, I'll do it at the... Mooring wood, why not? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> after that, I had managed to finally make my so. Wait, what? So we did it. Did the hooker not count? The armory is at your disposal. I'm gonna be pissed off if the hooker did not count. Oh, I am one point away. Well, I'll save that for later then. Anyways, I am going to go to other parts of the map because I did finally get enough to talk to who's a Medusa and the what's it um, in the industrial section. But there are Bowerstone Old Quarter, Bowerstone Market, Mill Fields, and some stuff in the Morning Woods, but I don't care. Also, the Silver Pines. I don't remember going through the Silver Pines. Also, God, there's just so much I did within the last few minutes. There's also a couple of quests along here, as well as I had bought this fort, so I might as well see uh, what quests reside here. Because now I get a constant thing saying, hey, check out the mortar. So, let's check out the mortar. Brilliant. Get up the thing. And I think pretty much this is just... Oh, kill... It's that minigame all over again. Private Jammy, reporting for duty. Wait a minute. I remember you. You're a fella, aren't you? The, oh, don't tell me. The, the prince, that's it. Oh, it's a shame about me dying, wasn't it? Uh, not that I'm aiming you, like. You know, you can't be Jammy forever. <laughs> well, you can. I'm still here, aren't I? I might be a ghost. But well, someone's got to keep them undead folk in check. They just can't stay bloody dead, can they? <laughs> Look who's talking, eh? <laughs> anyway, grab that mortar. We'll show them. It'll just be like old times. Let's blow these buggers up. You know, if you count old times being like freaking not too long ago. But yeah, this is pretty much the, this mini game all over again where we were blasting up all the hollow mins. Right side, right side. Probably just in case you really did like this tourist section sort of thing, which honestly it was pretty fun. Maybe it might have had something to do with how Jammy was, you know, kind of intriguing or whatnot. I don't know where the hell that hollow man was going. Ah, uh, no, to the west. Time remain. Oh, jeez. So. There's a score. I'm gonna assume that there's some sort of top score that if you were to make it, it was going to uh, make it so as you won a prize. Oh jeez. Did not see these guys coming. All right, working on the right flank then. Boom. Ain't gonna lie, it would seem like that these guys would have it. Covered with this mortar being particularly awesome. But that might just be me. Ooh, more of these guys. Come on. Dead. Working on it, Jammy. Working on it. You can't go Jammy all over the place over here. I wonder what sort of reward there is for this. I mean, there's got to be some sort of reward, right? And I've got a friend thing saying, hey, go to dude named Andy. I refuse to do that right about now, seeing as I'm taking care of, taking care of all the hollow men. Spiteful bastards that they are. Also, uh, I've found that there are, in fact, Valverines in this game. It's just that you have... Uh, it's kind of a random encounter thing during the middle of the night. 
Which I don't mind ter too terribly. They were always a fun fight to me. Don't ask me why. But, uh, definitely not something I would want to constantly randomly encounter. Because that would drive me right nuts. Kind of like how Gammy here is constantly a duck and don't get me wrong, I like the guy, but man, sometimes you can just be too chatty of a Kathy, you know? Oh, okay, yeah, this is just Derp. High score time! Bonk. I don't know why bonk is the go-to noise when I blow things up. And yes, I will be doing some of the other quests that are around this area because one of them were from uh, Fable 2. I really did like those two characters that were from them. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them shuffling over. Noise. Did those last ones count? Hey, that was some aiming out there. Definitely worth the rank of lieutenant. We've done it! They won't be back anytime soon. Yeah, well, not today at any rate. Chief the rank of lieutenant. You have left your mark on the battlefield. It's messy, but impressive, nevertheless. Eat. So I guess I can do that to get more and more ranks. I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing that is also a thing that you can only do so many times a day. And that said, though, there were other couple... Wait, is this the way to Bowerstone or what? Wait, what's this? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I think it's the way to... Ah, god damn these bastards. Oh yeah, this thing is super awesome now. Its damage is increased, and it has a sort of a shotgun blast to it. Also, fireball plus, uh, what's the name of it? Force push combo is now available. And because I had so many kids, this thing is doing, like, eight more damage, which is awesome. Which is good. Not so good when people are bitches. There. Taking care of. Ow. Ow. In a shot of whatever that was. I love how non-receptive this game is sometimes when trying to do the flourish. Because, I'll be honest, it's been a fu- Well, that just seems like a low blow. Come on. Flourish. I don't know why the flourish doesn't work sometimes. It's irritating. Now. Over in this direction, I do believe we had some dudes to talk to. Or maybe it was the other direction. It seems like it was the other direction all of a sudden. And I'm running away, not because I'm afraid of them, but because fighting those guys constantly is boring. Oh my god, and they're all the- they're a freaking elite guys, too. Right. Just gonna... Ah, hello. Gonna do one of these. But yeah, you want to find either promiscuous or flirty women to... ...do the sex. Ah, God, damn it all. Yeah, these guys pretty much go down with two blasts of this sucker now. Which is awesome. Oh my God, how many of these guys are there? And you want to take, take down these uh, big guys real fast, like. Otherwise, there's just going to be a never-ending supply of skellymans. Force push. I see that the force push didn't work too well. Hmm. Don't know why it didn't work all that well. Alright, come on. Just just die, please. Oh, come on, that was totally a flourish. Sure. That's totally the guy I was aiming for. Could you please die? Thank you. 
All I wanted to do was talk to a couple of dead guys from a previous game. That's so much to ask for. Apparently, yes. I was being able to shoot them. Anyways. Was it up this way? Next time I really need to just click them. There we are. You said this cemetery would be loads of fun. And now it's obvious you were talking box. Perhaps you'd like it back with Mum. Anyway, how was I to know a cemetery would have no ghosts in it? You know what we need? The book. Well, I'm not getting it. Have Livy here get it. Who? Oh, right. Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. We just want someone to have a chat with. I can't believe you. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Yeah, well, at least I thought of something, which is more than you've done. I had the idea to come here in the first place. Yeah, and look how well that's worked out. Yeah, you said that already. So unless you have something interesting to say, which I doubt, why don't you shut up? Yeah, how about we so just... Much. Yeah. Ah, going to think genius. We're evil ghosts, problem and solved. Not. Now, the thing is, the book is in Millfields. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. You'll have that book over my dead body, she used to say. Which was eerily prescient. So all you have to do is dig it up. So you guys totally don't mind that I'll be doing this with your mum. Alright, to Millfields. What? Never been here yet. Oh, it looks like a nice place, too. Wow, this is a nice looking place. It even got its own little Hobbs cave. Final insult, urgently wants a bright wall. None of the houses are for sale, sadly. Oh, well. Uh, oh, and all those uh, children that I've sired, too? Yeah, they've gone to an orphanage somewhere. I honestly don't have a clue where. I think it's in Brightwall. Of course, then again, there's that uh, small amount of don't really give a damn about it. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. wonder how many demon doors are in this game. Oh, that just went from bright and cheery to dull and gray in like milliseconds. Ah, uh, that better be treasure. You're lucky it's treasure there, Curry. The actual Curry has got to be so confused about me saying his name constantly. I really didn't see what it was. Min's something or other. Come on. Golden little... Yeah, yeah. So wait, is this leading me to a demon door, or is it actually leading me to the graveyard? Wow. Okay. I have to admit, despite the fact that they're worshipping a gazebo in the middle there, that is a hell of a sight. Ooh, another silver key. Cool. Alright. I'm going to guess that dog is currently going to be showing us the way. I don't like the look of how many ravens there are. Makes me think that she's going to be raised as a banshee all of a sudden. You guys remember banshees? I remember banshees. Banshees suck. And that is in fact the Normanomicon. <laughs> this ancient tome emits a cold aura and appears to be bound in human skin. You can see the freckles. Found within our dark incantations and evil writs. The rhubarb stew recipe on the final page sounds particularly malicious. I was joking about the panch thing. Oh, okay, it's just Hollowman. Here, what are you doing to my? Oh no, the book! Uh, 
Hi. How's it going? I've been doing this for ages, woman. A few undead aren't going to stop me from fulfilling a quest. So wait. Did their mum take care of a... Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. Make way. Yeah, usually people think that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'm a regular Ash versus the Evil Dead in here. Where the hell... Oh, yeah. Is he behind the tree? No. Working on it. Good. Kaboosh. Many a good show, I would hope so. Heh, <laughs> fracas. I don't know, that's just a funny word to me. Don't ask why you why. Whoop. Near. This gun is really damn good against these things. I would hope so. Oh, you're a big ugly one, aren't you? You told me that. I took that to heart. Oh, geez. They're all elite ones. Time slowing. I don't think the time slowing actually affects that guy. Maybe not. Who knows? Whoop. I honestly better kill the big guy first. Oh. That works. Well, you sorted out those hollow men with no trouble at all. Perhaps you should keep that book. With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. And it's a bit uncomfortable, frankly. Well, I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. Will do, ma'am. Also, my dog is telling me that there's treasure ahead, so... Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure. But once ignited, the flames of wanderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms, and perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old Ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you this stand is gonna at be the an fight. It's a nice we'll one. Win in the end, With newly painted signs and a bench. Oh, 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 if you oh, 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 get it back. the ominous ruin, turn to the oh, oh, Towards dead. the ancient forest. Just like that. Nobody's that good. Show it. It's not enough. It's not enough. We can choose your own adventure book. Nice. Anyways, um, this is Millfields. I thought that those were people that were, you know, waiting to meet my acquaintance. Evidently, they were not. I'm not going to move over there just in case that they actually have a quest for me. <laughs> I've already got a quest right now, uh, and that is to go to Morningwood. Which is, of itself is not only a dirty pun, but also a pun off of mourning. And the fact that it's a forest morning isn't going boo-hoo. Kind of morning. Anyways, let's go see Max and Sam. I wonder if that's actually a reference to the Sam and Max games. Can't be, because Sam and Max never really dealt with a Necronomicon, did they? Puns and whatnot? Norman? I don't know. I'd like to think that it is, but at the same time, probably not. Oh well. <laughs> what should we do? Be bold. We'll just open to a random page and do. What if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? All right. If that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section. But we'll do it boldly. 
Uh, Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Yeah, your mum wants which you to early, come back. And which we drove her to. We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost pantry. Must be where the snacks are kept. Ghost pants. That sounds interesting. Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Ghost party. Brilliant. Right, let's have that then. Now then. <clears throat> Necrus Rhysius Cordroy. You have helped the deceased duo obtain the Normanomicon. Possibly not one of your better judgment calls. Huh. You know, I've never bumped uglies with hey, the deceased. This is fantastic! Thank you! I've never bumped uglies with the uh, ethereal. I wonder if I could. Hello? No? I swear I didn't kill her. My my second wife. Th I swear I didn't kill her. Just has the ha same hairstyle. I swear. I reckon this is the wildest party I've ever been to. Although you could count the parties I've been to on one hand, and that hand would have four of its fingers cut off. So, what did you die of then, love? Right then. Heh. <laughs> and once again, these guys are living in the uncanny valley. So there's one other quest that's in the area. I'm unsure if I'll have uh, time this episode to finish it. But it was just slightly up the hill from where this graves graveyard was. Who ate all the cake? Who ate all the cake indeed, Judge? Did I ever open these? No, I did not. Because I clearly would have gotten that treasure. Huzzah to loot. Creature summoning potions. Nice. Uh, pretty sure there might be something in the other ones, but I can't just go cracking open every mausoleum that I see. Whoa. Okay, Birdos. You can stop that any time now. Thank you. Where the hell was it? Was he? Were they? Mm, that was the sound of more hollow men appearing. So there was a quest... Just right here. I don't know if it's one that I can actually... Oh, yep. Ah, yeah, this place! Huh. Mind the flames. They're quite hot, you know. Excellent for... Uh... Cooking? Anyway, um, hello. Uh, I'm Leslie, and I'm an... Uh... Actually, that doesn't matter for now. What I really want to talk about are those layabouts you've probably seen hanging around here, along with their flower-loving, goody-two-shoes leader, Reese. They get right up my nose, they do. I mean, it's all peace and love and that. Sickening. <sighs> Nobody knows how to be evil anymore. Time we taught them a lesson, I say. Remind them of the power of the dark side. <laughs> Bring back some of the old ways. I was thinking you should kill this Reese. Is that too hard? No, no, let's let's have you do that. And then I'll let you in on the secret that lies behind these fires. But only those with true evil in their hearts can pass beyond the flames. That could be you. If you can prove your evilness by killing that. Reese, fellow. Mm -hmm. You nearly got it, buddy. You nearly got it. But you know what? I like you. I like your potential. Let's do the evil. Oh, brilliant. Well, have fun slaughtering that lazy do-gooder. Just hurry back once it's done. Okay. I'm going to fast travel to the guy, though, because, um, rather not walk through all those hollow men. It is just over. Oh, no, he's right over here. Okay. Yes. Hi. Um. 
rocks. I'm not sure what the hell is happening with this thing anymore. This is a weird quest trail that likes to weave in and out of all over the places. Which is annoying, of course. And it's the sound of wolves. Which I'm pretty sure does totally not mean that we're facing off against Balverines. Are there any Balverines following me? No. Balverine... There's a lot of things that seem copy-pasted pretty much straight from the previous game. Most notably, uh, what people say in combat, some of the monsters... Like, Balverines, for example. It's just, literally, just like facing the Balverines that were in Fable 2. Oh, that one had a bit of force push to it. Ow. Ow. Okay. Look, guys, I just want to find this one dude, his name's Reese, and kill him. I really don't want to have to bother with you guys. But I will! Oh, jeez. Ow! Dang it, all to hell, you stupid undead pricks! Okay. I uh, if there's any more generals, I'm booking, honestly. I I say generals only because I don't know what the hell to actually call them. I'm gonna get lost in this thing, be surrounded by hollow men around up me at all sides and all times. And I'm gonna call that a bad time. Seriously, where's this do-gooder fellow that they want me to kill? Because honestly, I'd like to just kill him now. Especially if he's the one that's actually controlling all these undead. What, they think they're going to find peace in the grave? Fat chance of that. Ow. I really wish the dog would attack someone. That'd be nice. Whew. Boomstick. Okay. Mm, boomstick. Boomstick. Ow, wow, wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, combat is always wonky in this game. Like, I could go to block, but most of the time I'm trying to push forward to say which one I want to attack. So, game will just be all like, oh, hey, you want to flourish, right? No, game. I didn't want to flourish. Ah. Don't get me wrong. All the guild seals I'll earn from this are fantastic. But I don't want to earn guild seals at the moment. Ugh. Okay. Are we seriously? Okay. This is weird. one of the weirdest paths I've ever had to take to get to someone. I swear if this is actually leading to the town of Morningwood. It's leading me back to the town of Morningwood. Aren't you? Yeah, you are. <sighs> Fine. We'll go a little bit longer this episode, simply because I do want to get this quest done. It's just all so beautiful. So beautiful. Peace and love, peace and love. Uh -huh. That's the answer to everything, man. Uh, that's wonderful, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I... So, anyone gonna fight me about this? No? Cool. <laughs> Welcome to the they really don't, do they? They just kind of go, ah, ah, funny. Let's head back. Oh, Leslie, I did the you thing. Did it. Wow, you're quite the, uh, quite the wicked one, aren't you? Well, beyond here lies an ancient temple of evil. I'm working out how to get in there at the moment. Um, shouldn't take me too long. Come back soon. Thanks for the murder. 
Well done. Thanks to you, there's less peace and love in the world. Can, can I... I'd like to get through now. Well, they did say that you do have to be particularly evil in order to get through the thing, right? Leslie? Leslie? How, how evil am I at the moment, anyways? Um, I, I'm still pretty neutral. And yes, I do have that peace, love, uh, hippie thing tattoo on right now. Simply because, uh, simply because. I guess I'm calling an episode. I thought I was going to get into the temple today. Men's magic hats. Eh. Yeah. Wait, now I want to go, I wanted to go into the... There are new garments available. Yeah. Mostly makeup, ain't it? I don't want makeup. Ah, I see. I want to check out my hairstyles because I have collected. I went and bought all the hairstyles just because. Uh, no. I go with. Oh, that's the one I've been using. Very f Fabio look. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the Fabio, why not? I always said one needs to let one's hair down on occasion. I see you took that rather literally. Kinda want a beard too. I might go with this goatee, actually. And because it's one of the only two that I have. Alright, let's get rid of that face tattoo because oh god. Actually, wait, which one is this one? This is the mercenary one. How about all the... No, wait. What was that one that I had found? Yeah. No, don't do that. Not that I would presume to tell you your business. I would merely request that your business does not include scaring me like that. Yeah, well, too bad. All right. What clothings do I have, too? There's... Uh... None very good ones. I mean, I do like the top of this. I just wish it was, you know, sleeveless. Whatever you feel comfortable in. Damn right, whatever I feel comfortable in. Women's, men's, dwellers, woman's suit. Damn it! Uh, I wonder if I could dye my hair. Uh, let's go with more of a. Orange? Here. Ah, there we go. This is terrible lighting to see what the hell hair dye you can do. Just saying. Look at this. I can barely tell the difference if it's actually doing anything. Uh. Oh, okay. You actually have to press it to confirm it. Gotcha. Oh, Jesus. God, no. So if I change the highlight to something like that. Nah, nah. You know what we'll do? We'll learn, we'll sort, we'll go brown. I've fairly, if ever, rarely went brown. And it's still barely much of a difference. What a finely tailored room. Hmm. Uh... Sure, the room looks finely tailored. Well, not quite the look I was trying to initially go for. I was trying to go for something a little bit more badass looking. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. Uh, when we return, I'm going to go to Bowerstone Market and see what I can buy. I mean, there's I got a plenty plentiful amount of money. So if I can buy some new outfits, at the least I can make my character look how I want him to look as opposed to this. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.